Welcome back to Pool School. This is Jason Hughes. We're here in Gloucester, Virginia with another pool that uh, nice pool project, project that we've, uh, we're just about to wrap up. And today we're going to talk about why you may be getting air bubbles in your pool. This is a common, pro, uh, common problem that we, that we experience, especially when folks are opening their pool for the season. And if you take a look here, you can see that we definitely have some air bubbles coming in here at both of our return jets. And we're going to talk about what causes that. So let's go over here to the filter system, and we need to understand why or how your pool pump works in order to understand exactly how you're getting air bubbles back in the pool. Let's take a look at the pool pump. The two pipes coming out of the ground and going into the front of the pool pump is called the suction side of the plumbing. So all the water that's coming from the pool is coming through those two pipes and then into the front of the pump. So the water is being pulled essentially up to the pump from those two pipes. Then coming out of the top of the pump is the discharge side of the plumbing or the pressure side. So our water is pulled in through the front of the pump and discharged out of the top. After it's discharged, it's filtered through our cartridge filter here, then chlorinated through our saltwater chlorinator, then returns back to the pool. As you can see, with our pool pump here, doesn't quite look right. We've got some air in the strainer pot lid that you can see. So what's going on? The cause of air bubbles in the pool is simply that there's air being sucked into the line on the suction side of the pump. So that means we can pretty much know that it's not anything on this discharge side of the plumbing. It has to be coming from this suction side. And the two lines that we have are our skimmer line and the line to our main drains. And then those two lines T and come into the pump. However, when you first open your pool, there's a lot of stuff that we're putting back together up here at the filter system. And nine times out of ten, it's not an underground plumbing problem. It's something up here at our equipment. So let's talk about the top three reasons you may be pulling air into your suction line that would cause air bubbles to be coming into your pool. The first thing we need to check is over at the pool. So let's go back over here. Take a look at our water level. If the water level in the pool is too low, then your skimmer will suck air. It will pull it back to the filter and it will run it through the pump just like we saw over there and you'll get the air bubbles. Okay, so that's the first thing you want to check, water level in the pool. This water level is okay. You know, typically we like to teach people that there's four screws on the side of the skimmer and we like to keep them at least halfway between the center, the second and third screw. So that looks okay, it looks like it's about perfect. The two other culprits can be found over here at the pool equipment. First thing we want to check is water level in the pool. The second thing we want to check is whether or not this strainer pot lid that we see here is on good and snug. If it's not on tight, then you will suck air through, the, through that lid to the pump. There is an O-ring underneath that lid that you need to check. So turn the pool pump off, remove the lid, check the O-ring, make sure it's there, first of all. Secondly, make sure that it's seated and make sure that there's not any grit or debris that might be obstructing the lid from getting a, a nice uh, good secure close. So first water level in the pool, second uh, strainer pot lid, the third thing that we want to check and the most common, cul most common cause is this union that you see right here. This fitting right here between the pool pump and the valve is called a union. It's where our plumbing breaks apart so that we can take our pump off. There's an o-ring in that union and as you can see, if we get up here nice and close, there's some threads right here. Okay, this is the nut. You remove that nut to break the thing apart. I'm going to now take this union apart, and we're going to look at the inside of it because I have a feeling that's what's causing our air bubbles today. All right, just broken our union apart. Remove this nut, and look what we have right here. We see our O-ring. Okay, that's good because we need it, but it's bad because that's not where it belongs. We pull this plumbing apart, you can see that that O-ring was just sitting in there. There's actually a groove where that O-ring needs to seat in this union. And a lot of times what happens is, when you go to put this union together, this little O-ring will slip out just like that or get just fall out of its groove. So that's exactly what was causing our air bubbles. Okay, one other angle of our union here. You can see that that O-ring needs a seat in that little groove there. You can see that from this back side where when I took the nut off, it wasn't in the groove at all. It was just sitting, you know, out of it entirely at the top of the union. So let's put this back together. 
And all we're going to do is pull our pump over, meet it together, and then just tighten our union up like so. Nice and easy. If you look right here at this little flange, when you're finished tightening your union, you need to make sure that this is flush with the back of the nut. If it's not, uh, then there's something obstructing the, the union from fully closing. And that's what was happening a minute ago. That O-ring was in there, and it was stopping us from uh, getting it where it needs to be. So let's turn our pump back on. Let's let it prime for a minute. It should only take a second. And we're going to walk over here to our pool in just a minute and see if we've alleviated our air bubble dilemma. All right, our pool pump is primed up nice and tight. You take a look at our lid. You can see there's a few little air bubbles in there. That's actually normal. They'll probably run themselves out of there, but there's not a bunch of churning and cavitation going on inside that lid and noise as there was before. Okay, that's an indicator that you got issues. So now our pump's nice and primed up. There's no air bubbles coming in. Let's walk over to the pool and check out our return jets and see how they're behaving. All right, as you can see, nice, clean return water coming in. No air bubbles. So there you have it. Air bubbles in your pool. It means you're drawing in some air on the suction side of your pump, and you need to check three things. First thing is water level in the pool, make sure there's enough water and the skimmer is not drawing air. The second thing is the strainer pot lid at the pump and the third thing is any unions that are at the pool pump that could also cause problems. If you check those three things and you still have not alleviated the problem, then there's a chance that you could have a bigger problem on your hands like a suction side leak in your plumbing which would either be coming from your skimmer line or your main drains and that's more than most customers want to handle so if that's what's going on just call your local pool contractor tell him what's going on he'll probably come out and and run some diagnostics to see if he can uh, isolate the problem thanks for checking in with us on uh, pool school if you have any more questions be sure to check us out at www.poolschool.us or riverpoolsandspas.com